Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, this is one of the video that I want to do uh, for quite a while because uh, to have the opportunity to and it's a common issue with the older uh, Westones and Sure IEMs, the Universals. Okay, so they have an issue with the nozzle breaking because the 100 size nozzle is actually very fragile. So uh, today we'll be going through how are we going to glue back a broken nozzle and how to fix it. Yeah. So uh, what we need today, no soldering items, no soldering stuff. Uh, we need uh, acrylic resin, UV resin and uh, CA super glue. So this one. Okay, I'll just pour some glue here because we are going to apply it uh, later in a while. Okay, so basically, um, we also we need a tool which is a uh, damper remover. I'll put the link in the description also for the resin and everything. Okay, uh, we need a UV lamp. Okay, so I have a new UV nail lamp. This is what we use for DIY. The UV lamp is off camera. I'll show it to you when the process is going on. Okay, so right now, the first thing I want to make sure, because the damper itself, if the glue comes into contact with it, it's going to destroy the filter. So we are going to remove the damper. We will install once everything is done. So the remover tool works like a screwdriver. You screw into the the damper and you can remove it by pulling it out. Okay, you see? So this is the damper for each side. You put them in their respective blue tag. Yeah, we need a blue tag to hold it. Okay. In the case, uh, because uh, the cracks there should be uh, I mean the way that it broke off uh, you can align the crack and you have to so that uh, the exposure uh, the contact is the greatest possible if you cannot find the crack to align uh, get a sharp pen knife uh, slice it so that it's flash it's flush and also slice the other side so it's too smooth side and you can proceed with the gluing okay so basically we want to try to find it's like a puzzle try to fit the two sides together and uh, once you get that uh, correct co contact uh, you can start to glue it it will be the, it will be the strongest point for the glue So I think I found yes, I found the the alignment. So we'll put this in the same orientation and we'll apply some glue. Okay, take note not to let the glue uh form a screen like a bubble over the the exposed hole. Once you uh, okay, we we'll apply the glue on the one side first, and uh, we'll try to put it and hold it together. Okay, this is not uh the proper way to glue, because the next step is the proper way to glue. Okay, so right now the glue is just there. We have to press it for quite some time so that uh there can be some sort of uh, adhesion that will hold it together, and uh, we can apply the glue properly after that. Okay, so. There is uh, some sort of adhesion. Okay, CA glue, super glue, they work the best when uh, the two parts are in contact. Okay, so when the two parts are in contact, you let it sit in the gap. They work the best this way because uh, with the absence of air, yeah, the thing doesn't oxidize, yeah, and they form a very good bond. So what we do, we take a needle and uh, we we'll let it drip into the crack 
I'm using 502 uh, so it's a uh, it's very watery uh, it takes some time to actually dry so we got time to work on the other side okay also one thing to take note if it is dirty you have to clean the contact first okay so same thing this one is easier because the cracks are more obvious so same thing we have to put them together okay so if you can you try to hold them instead of like like uh with the with the sure try to hold them together and glue it in that uh position instead of uh like apply a bit of glue first okay like if you can try to maneuver and hold it like this and we apply the glue it's very difficult but this has a better result okay so we will dip and apply we let it seep through all round we let it seep through this will have the best uh, contact adhesion if you want a super strong uh, bond you have to press on it uh, for the whole period uh, where it's curing and uh, yeah it's gonna take a few minutes so uh, we'll skip to the part when uh, everything is done okay so we got the glue dry and uh, ready for the resin just check both sides okay take note that anything that's broken and glued back together especially plastic yes it's not going to be a super strong bond so try not to I mean you broke it once uh, <laughs> try to take care of it more put it in the case don't use a case that has a uh, excessive pressure aka a case that is too small okay we are going to apply resin all over it may not going to look the best but this is for the best yeah oh you can use uh, AB epoxy glue or epoxy resin for this uh, it is going to be uh, the same or better yeah okay so put it into the UV chamber ASAP uh, so that the thing doesn't flow everywhere and uh, you have to redo it okay so yeah okay we try not to put it too high up the stock because we still need to be able to fit the earpiece uh, I mean the ear tip in so we apply it in uh, moderately but around the joint so we'll put it in the chamber I'll shift the camera to the chamber the video is already done so this is what it looks like in the chamber we'll let it cure for about two minutes sometimes it takes longer but uh, that's about all Okay, so the cure is done. So uh, it's quite sturdy now, but please still handle it with care. The last last step that we should not forget is to replace the damper. So use the damper remover tool to hold on to the damper. They they are very small and bouncy, so once they drop, uh, you'll be having a hard time finding it. So careful not drop it. So, I mean, take care of your IEMs and I hope to see you again. Okay, right before that, let us know in the comments uh, what kind of video you want us to film. Uh, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, share the video.